When it comes to shooting trousers and jeans on a mannequin, there are some little tips and tricks that can help you out. I'm going to start with a pair of formal trousers. Now these have obviously been steamed and pressed so they're nice and neat. So with the formal trousers, they can fall quite nicely sometimes. What we want to watch out for though is the leg position. We want it to be nice and even. We want the gap right up to the crotch to be nice and symmetrical. This leg is sort of bending out this way. So I'm going to add a little bit of tissue just to bring it back more central like the other one. On the back, a great place to clip trousers is evenly just under the bum. What that's going to do is going to create a very symmetrical gap in the crotch area. We can pull this up to reduce the creasing in that area. So here I've got some double-sided tape and I'm just going to add it in between the mannequin and the trousers just to fix it in place. We have a bit of creasing down here, so I'm just going to pull the seam straight. Lighting-wise, I'm going to shift it slightly more biased to the top. Now we're going to do the back shot. So again, just rotate round. Remove our clips. Now here we may need to add a bit of stuffing because what we've got here is some indentation, which doesn't look too nice. So again, using our tissue, we can fill out the offending area. So what I'm gonna do for the back shot is I'm actually gonna pull it a bit tighter and add a clip. That's gonna reduce a lot of the creasing around here. So we've added our clip at the front. We're just gonna pull these tight Make sure the tissue inside is not doing more harm than good. So formal trousers can be a little bit unforgiving because they need to be nice and straight. That looks pretty good to me. Okay, so we're gonna shoot some jeans now. Slightly different process. So I'm just gonna do up all the buttons. They're quite a straight leg. So we wanna make sure that they don't look like bell bottoms or flares in any way. So there's a number of ways we can do that. So first I'm going to start on the back and I'm going to pull in just below the bum so that the area here becomes nice and smooth. Bring it right back around the front again. What I notice here is quite a lot of dipping in. So again, a bit of tissue down here, not too much, but just to reduce that creasing. I want to watch out that the seam is nice and straight, not twisted, because that's going to change the shape of the jean. What we're going to do is just straighten up the waistline a bit tuck this label in, quite happy with that. What I'm not happy about is the way the legs are sort of bowing together. So I wanna be able to pull that out a little bit without changing the jean shape. Now one tip is to use some thick double-sided or gaffer like this on the inside of the jean. So I'll do a little turn up here and I'm gonna stick the double-sided just around the bottom of the leg and fold it back under. That gives me the opportunity now to manipulate that leg and give it a bit more shape. So I'm going to do the same on this leg. I'm going to leave the double-sided element on just for a little bit more rigidity. And now I can shape that into a straight leg jean. So it's looking a little better. I just want to add a little of a, bit of a clip. And the appearance from the front is that they're a bit more round now and straight. That's great. I don't mind a bit of creasing here in the knees. Let's see what that looks like. So that's looking much better. They're not bowing together as much anymore. In fact, I can just push them out a tiny bit more and they look natural and worn. Another variation on this is we can actually remove the tape and have a little turn up at the bottom. This helps to shape the jean at the bottom. And again, it's a style choice, but it can be pretty effective. So when it comes to the back shot, again, we've got to remove the clips. You might want to add one back in the front again, just to pull the jean round. Round we go, we've got our turn ups. Legs are not twisted. We just need to get the waistband nice and straight. So these are much, much easier to shoot on the back than the formal ones. Whether it's shooting jeans or formal trousers, the steps are pretty similar, but there are some 
key differences between the two. There are a few things that you can remember. One is to clip just below the butt on both sides, allowing this area here in the crutch to be nice and even. The second thing is making sure the legs are nice and straight, they fall in a nice uh, even manner. We can use tissue uh, to round out the leg at the bottom. Paying attention to details such as the buttons and the zips, making sure they're nice and straight, that the waistline and the back is nice and smooth and even. With the jeans, we can also light for dramatic effect to bring out the texture.